The protest in Portland tonight, but much smaller than what we saw last night and with a lot less damage. Many were focused tonight on a decision by Portland City Council instead of the presidential election. Mike Banner is live downtown with the details for us, Mike. Aside from some vandalism to the uh, boarded up front doors of City Hall, it was a pretty quiet evening in downtown Portland. A much different story, though, in North Portland. Let's go ahead and look at some video from earlier tonight. Uh, a small group of demonstrators met at Arbor Lodge Park and marched to City Commissioner Dan Ryan's home. We're told flares were tossed at the home, at least one window broken as well, before it was declared an unlawful assembly. The crowd moved on to the Portland Police Association building on Lombard before dispersing. All of this in response to what happened at City Hall earlier in the day. Portland's City Council voted against cutting another $18 million from the Portland Police Bureau. City Commissioner and vocal police critic Joanne Hardesty proposed the cut, arguing the money would be better spent on emergency food programs and housing. This comes after Council already slashed $15 million in police funding back in June. However, the City Council rejected the new cuts by a 3-2 to two vote. The three no votes, including Mayor Wheeler, argued slashing that much money would force layoffs and make Portlanders less safe. As we heard from both the police chief and the budget office, this 18 million proposal is a threat to our current public safety. We need to identify the root of our problems and to identify and invest in upstream solutions. I want you to know that your vote against this amendment means that the status quo continues on. Black people will continue to be overplaced. Houses people will continue to be arrested at over 50% of the arrests that Portland Police Bureau will continue to make. All right, also worth noting today, the Portland Police Association filed a legal challenge against a measure voters approved this week, establishing a community police oversight board. The police union says such a board is accountable to no one and called it, quote, terrible public policy. Now back out here live, one more thing to mention. As the demonstration was happening in North Portland, law enforcement was conducting high visibility patrols. We're told there were more than a dozen traffic stops, some of them connected to the demonstration, and there was at least one arrest. Back to you.